All right, let's play this uh, uh, this sound. Thad Cochran uh, had a conference call for reporters that was crashed by right-wing blogger Charles C. Johnson, who apparently is a big Chris McDaniel fan, and Chris McDaniel has yet to concede. I wonder how long he will keep that up. But, um, of course, it is Charles C. Johnson wanting to protect the interests of African Americans in Mississippi. Um, we've got about, they claim that there was about 130 votes that they had issues with. Um, when I went back and looked at the total returns from the Democrat runoff, there was only about 35 or so votes uh, in the Democrat primary uh, total vote. So again, you had a situation where okay. their numbers just didn't make sense, did quick not have. Quick question. Since black so people you'll have a chance to ask a question at the, okay end of the, at the end of the vote. call. Why is it okay to give you an opportunity to black people? All right, so listen, I don't. I will give everybody an opportunity to ask a question when we get through, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions from the committee members of the meeting. Um, so again, the issue is, as we just talked about, some very specific Hines County examples. I'd like to know if the black people were harvesting cotton, why do you think it's okay to harvest their votes? They're not animals. Okay, so this why is what we're going to do. Like they're this, just there. Okay, I'm happy vote. that I'm. Sir, I don't know, you know, you know, uh, where you're calling from, but I'm happy to, I'm happy to address any question, no matter the lunacy of it. Well, some point to say, why did you use black people? Why did you use black people to try to get Cochran elected when they're not even Republicans, and you're treating them as if they're just idiots that they'll vote for Cochran just because they're black? That's ridiculous. Did you harvest the votes? Pause it. Pause it. So here's what we're going. I, 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 this guy is just saying, he just wants an excuse to say black votes, black votes all over again. So he's saying at once, like, um, why did you have blacks vote for Cochran? Blacks are not smart enough to know that they didn't want to vote for Cochran, but they did anyway. And, um, cotton and blacks. We're going to try to keep going through this call, and if the individuals who've decided that they want to try to hijack this call will just let us get through with it, I'll be glad to answer any good questions. Um, so again, when I just gave you, why do you treat black people like just because they're black, they're going to vote for Congress? All right, so the members of the national media who participated in this call, you've got my cell phone, you've got my email address. You have Jordan Russell's cell phone, you have Jordan Russell's email address. Please, please, please feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. We tried to do this as a courtesy to the national media. It could not be exactly one, one quick our press conference. So if you have an one opportunity, quick legitimate question. please feel free to call us. <laughs> one quick legitimate I'm sorry that the call... Let, right him, let, let him talk! Pause it. Is that thing <laughs> That's why I tried to interrupt. There you have it. Uh, one quick legitimate question now. Right. Oh, God.